Welcome back to Phoenix Point with new videos Monday through Friday. Um, okay, so what I'm doing right now is I think I'm just waiting for the party wagon to heal. And actually, I just realized that without the party wagon, I can't have a full team of eight. So I think what I might do is take one of the manticores and put the ship in that hmm some of these guys a thorn and sticketh Still have some training that they need to do. I might just leave everyone there until they're level 7. Or I could do like a team of like 6. Manticore, uh, leave you behind. Leave you behind. And then I can take Sky Riz. You guys still need to heal too, though. And the rest of you. Stay behind and get trained. Uh, the gift, you should probably stay and repair. But then I'll leave you behind as well. Okay, so then the party wagon. Can go back to Phoenix Point for repairs. And then these guys, I think they can move on to seeking the Firebird. Is everybody healed though? Yeah, I think they're all healed. More recruits. No food, though. <laughs> uh, quarterback sniper would be kind of cool. Quarterback strongman sniper. Oh, Phoenix Point is going to get attacked in 24 hours. All right, that's fine. I can come back for that. I wonder if the behemoth can destroy Phoenix bases. That could really suck. All right, what do we got? Oh boy, all right. Heavy armored limb. Eighty damage single strike and a heavy leg. Uh, but fireworms. Karen, Charon, Barith. These things are a pain in the ass. Uh, the corruption node. I am kind of excited to see those. Uh, Myrmidon eggs. Myrmidon itself. Seventy damage for one action point. Whew, it's kind of intense. Seventy damage and thirty poison. Jesus, and poison explosion. Holy fuck! Wow. All right, 
so all seven of you are here. All right, I'm gonna check out their equipment and then I will be right back. Crap, and I don't have the party wagon to capture Pandorans with. Target located. It's a bit of a bummer. Over there. Here comes the Phoenix. They're gonna run it. at me. Oh, come on. Want to get too close? Double time. Jesus Christ. Taking action. Proceeding. If anyone's going to come out this far, but Wow. Yes, it was, buddy. Oh, you're alert? Great.
three will points, huh? time. Well, you don't have much armor. Wait, wasn't there a mind fragger around here somewhere too? So kill him in one hit and actually give me uh, will points. All right. Uh, where's my pistol guy? Engaging. That's engaging. So you have 20. Eyes peeled. That's not going to be enough. Let's show them what we can do. My turn. Maybe I can daze him. Frickin' sniper, too. I know how to do this. goes. Moving now. Yeah. I'm in pain. Ah! Ah! 
Maybe I imagine the mind fragger. Oh, come on. So this guy could be a problem. For war cry, though. A little further from the worms, just in case. points let's just get it over with this better work mm, should be far enough from the worms Still has 14 will points after losing his head. Time to tap into this. There we go. Now you can stop him from doing worms again. Actually, I probably didn't need to do that, did I? Should be 
one hit kill. No, really. And resisted. Well, that's interesting. anyway. Not sure why I thought there was a mind fragger around here. Just mind control him. Already there. I've got this. Get yourself the kill. Problem solved. Are you still? Panic when I kill your people, even though you're mind controlled. Ready for it's action. Kind of a weird thing. Still active. A summons. Preparing to fire. Okay. Standing by. I think that's everyone. No time to waste. Good job, team. Couple injuries, not terrible though. Too unexpected. The journal seems to suggest that the research was recovered by the Phoenix Project. I assume you are unaware of this. Presumably due to the near collapse your organization suffered after the severe cutbacks of the early 21st century. Apparently, the surviving research was stored at a Phoenix base designated Storage Facility 4. Not a terribly inventive name in this game. To complicate matters, before the collapse, the local government sold Storage Facility 4 to Abidan Tusk, one of the billionaires that resulted from the old political system's malfunctioning distribution of resources who turned it into a shelter for his company. Eccentric and possibly sociopathic to begin with, he has been driven to new extremes, styling himself Pirate King and leading violent raids on defenseless haven's. I calculate a 98% chance of armed conflict resolution. So I keep forgetting that their diplomacy mission is like a two-parter. I gotta fly my ass all the way over there. Actually, no, I don't really. I can uh, use my other team. Hmm, but do I want to? You guys are starting to level up. I'm not 
not sure if it's a great idea to go in there with like those rookies yet though. Although I can rescue independent soldiers. The thing is, since I have the training base, I want people training like at all times, if possible. Oh, so they didn't destroy that base. And what is it? The party wagon? Actually, having that would probably help with this uh, rescuing the independents. Maybe what I'll do is I'll send this group back for the party wagon, and then this group can do a teensy bit of exploring. Alright, then you can go there. You finish this. Alright, while exploring a seemingly unremarkable ruin, our operative stumbled across a book half hidden in a pile of rubble. An old copy of Olaf Stapledon's visionary novel, Star Maker. <laughs> Star Maker. <laughs> That's quite funny. Um, it is unusually well preserved. Further investigation reveals what further appears to be a collapsed library, sealed off under the rubble. The books have remained almost completely undamaged. While not useful in our war against the Pandora virus, these books represent a vital part of humanity's history. Would digging them out be worth it? Hmm. So this sounds like the Anu thing. This sounds like a Sinedrian thing. Maybe New Jericho? I think I've done this one before. Well, no, New Jericho didn't like that. Kind of wish I could go back and do it now. Pretty sure all it gives me is, um, like, research, maybe? Or Sinedrian would probably have liked it, though. Uh, you could probably search one, too, while we wait for the other one. Alright, this Manticore, I'm thinking might be fit for duty, although I'm at the point now where I'm starting to get worried about ambushes. That could definitely be an issue as well. Uh, I don't think I have enough armor for everybody, or maybe I do. Alright. Helios... Okay, so you guys are good. Let's, um... You know what? I think I'll end this video here uh, while I go through and check the gear for everybody. But when I come back, I'll probably rescue the independents, maybe do a couple more unexplored sites. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.